My ex ruined my day at work. I brilliantly took revenge on him the same day. Miranda, a hardworking young Mexican woman, faces a challenge when her ex tries to humiliate her at her job. Miranda is scared to act because her job is at stake, but the pain her ex caused pushes her. Despite the risk of losing her employment, she finds a way to make him pay for his actions. Before the video starts, please subscribe to join our community. Your support helps us grow and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Miranda's breakup with her ex had been a public affair, which had plunged her into depression. As an immigrant trying to build a life in a new country, she knew she had to keep working to keep herself afloat. But it seemed like her problems never ended. One day she was late to her job at the restaurant again and had to explain the situation to her boss Michael in the restaurant kitchen. I'm really sorry for being late again. Michael, a lot has been happening. My boyfriend and I broke up and everyone knows about it, Miranda said quietly. Miranda, what happens in your life is your thing, but it's a problem for me. If it messes with your work, I need you here on time, ready to work. This is your final warning, Michael said seriously. Miranda said she'd do better, but things got harder when she saw her ex, Colin and his girlfriend Leslie at a table in the restaurant. She asked Michael if she could avoid serving them, but he said no, pointing out the need to stay professional. We all have tough stuff to deal with Miranda. We're short on people, and I need you to do your job, not run away. Michael said, not even looking at her. Miranda had no choice but to serve Colin and Leslie, who were rude and made mean jokes about where she was from. Look who we have here, Miranda serving tables. I guess people from your background really do find their calling in the service industry, huh? Colin said in a nasty way. Miranda managed a strained smile and asked if they were ready to order hiding her turmoil. Right then, Colin dropped his fork deliberately, forcing Miranda to retrieve it. And as Miranda did that, Leslie laughed loudly and clapped. Look at Miranda, she's good at picking things up. Now everyone was looking at her making Miranda feel even worse. She gave the fork back to Colin with a barely steady hand. Thanks, Colin said, but he clearly didn't mean it. You're such a team player. Miranda tried to stay calm and quickly brought their order. Mexican stew, hoping they would stop being mean, but Colin said the stew wasn't spicy enough and made a mess by flipping his plate. The mess got all over Miranda's clothes. It's okay, she said trying not to sound upset while she cleaned up. But Leslie kept laughing and people watched her. So many eyes on her completely shattered the confidence and strength Miranda had tried to muster until now. She could no longer hold those tears that were welling up in her eyes. She had to go to the kitchen and hide in a corner, and she was so upset, she started crying. As she broke down into sobs, a voice distracted her. Here, take this, it said. Miranda looked up to see Chef Robert holding a kitchen towel. She knew he was a kind man who helped all his colleagues. Something about his presence made her cry harder as she accepted the towel. Look, I don't want to interfere in your personal life, but you're stronger than you think, Miranda. You've got a spirit that's much bigger than the problems you're facing, Miranda sniffled, knowing she really needed someone to talk to. So she opened up to Chef Robert, and like a gentleman, he listened as she spoke about her early days with Colin and recalled the time that ruined everything for her. That one time Colin really wanted to go to a party with her, but she was worried about her schoolwork. Miranda. Colin and Leslie were college mates. I really should study Colin, she had told him. My grades aren't looking too good, but Colin shook his head, refusing to accept her. No as an answer. Come on, Miranda. You're smart and you work so hard. One night off won't hurt. Please come with me. Miranda was stuck. She liked the idea of spending time with Colin but knew she should study. Let me think about it. I'll tell you tonight, she told him finally. After they kissed and Colin promised her a fun night, Miranda went back to her room feeling excited but also a bit stressed. As soon as she walked in, her roommate none other than Leslie interrupted her. What's going on, Miranda? You look so happy. And where did those flowers come from? She asked. If only Miranda knew the girl was a wolf in sheep's clothing. 
It's Colin. He's been so sweet and I really like him. He invited me to a party, but I'm worried about my exams. Miranda, you've got to enjoy life too. Don't miss out because of exams, Leslie said. Come on, this is the time to have fun. Les, I really need to study. You're a smart cookie. Miranda, taking one night off won't mess up your future. Have fun at the party with Colin. Trust me and go. Feeling a bit more confident that one night wouldn't hurt her studies, Miranda decided to accept Colin's invite and called him, I'll be there Colin. This night is important to you so it's important to me too, she said. But that night, when Miranda walked into the loud club where the party was, she felt a bit out of place. Colin noticed and handed her a drink. Here drink this. It'll make you feel better, Miranda couldn't say no. As the alcohol kicked in, she forgot about all her worries, enjoying the music and dancing, feeling really free. The next morning, Miranda woke up in a strange place, her clothes all over the floor. She was scared to find herself undressed around other girls and boys, also barely dressed, just sleeping around. As she remembered bits and pieces of the night with Colin, a chill ran down her spine. She quickly called a taxi to go back to her college dorm, worried about what others would think if they found her like that. Back at college, everyone was whispering and looking at her. Miranda had no idea why. She was feeling upset and lonely and really wanted to talk to Leslie, but Leslie wasn't there. Neither Leslie nor Colin answered her calls. Then the college dean called her upset about some embarrassing videos and photos and mentioned that she would be expelled Miranda was devastated and went to find Colin for help. But when she found him, he was with Leslie, and they were both laughing meanly. Look who's here! Colin sneered his voice dripping with mockery. Came running back to me, Miranda? Thought I could fix your little problem? Leslie's grin was just as mocking. Oh, Miranda, did you really think Colin was interested in you? It was all a bet. She revealed, two weeks. That's all it took for him to get you to play the fool, and now look at you practically begging for his help. Miranda felt so hurt and alone as she listened to them laugh at her. She knew they had tricked her, and she had lost so much. But she also felt a spark of determination to overcome this, after sharing the details of her past that brought her to this restaurant as a waitress. Miranda decided she wanted revenge on Colin and Leslie. Robert, can you help me? Make their food super spicy just once? She asked. Robert was unsure, worrying about the restaurant's image, but Miranda was firm. I really need this. She said, please do this for once. Robert didn't want to do that, but somewhere he too felt people like Leslie and Colin deserved a taste of their medicine. All right, Miranda, but let's keep it low key, he suggested. Miranda mixed up a spicy sauce, not thinking about what might happen to her if her plan was exposed. She was just focused on getting even, use this, she said, giving Robert a sauce-soaked napkin. When Colin and Leslie got their food, Leslie mocked her again. This is spicy? This is what you called a spicy Mexican stew? She sneered. Right. Then Colin wiped his mouth with the napkin and was hit by the strong spice. His skin flared a deep red, as if he'd been slapped by the very essence of the spice, and his breaths became shallow, desperate gasps. Colin breathed just try to breathe, Leslie urged, patting his back. However, when people at the restaurant began to stare and laugh, Leslie's cheeks flushed red with shame. She realized she had been mean to Leslie, and now others found amusement in her and Colin's predicament. Unable to handle the embarrassment, she blurted out, This is unbearable! We're finished! And quickly left. Miranda observed the scene quietly, a hint of a smile on her face. She remembered how they had deceived her, thinking they would be happy together. It seemed fate had other ideas. Though in pain, Colin loudly yelled that Miranda should lose her job, claiming Miranda messed with his dish. And it was then that Michael stepped in with a cool head. He tried the stew and didn't see any problems. This dish is perfectly fine, sir. There's nothing wrong with it, he declared, spotting the spicy, saturated napkin, but discreetly concealing it. Also, Miranda's been with us for a long time. She wouldn't mess up a meal on purpose. 
he said taking Miranda's side. At that point, Miranda exchanged a silent look of understanding with her boss, grateful for his help. Colin looked around for someone to agree with him, but found no one Leslie was gone, and the other customers just watched. Then Michael gave Colin some friendly advice. You know, Colin, sometimes the heat comes not from the food, but from how we act towards others. Maybe think about that, okay? Colin was speechless, and Miranda felt a wave of satisfaction. She had found a smart and strong way to stand up for herself, and witnessed how empathy and understanding united people. Michael's choice to stand up for her and teach Colin about being humble and respectful showed her that even in tough times, there are friends all around.